way deeper than what I thought it'd be. I don't know if there's a dam right around here to hold all this water back. But this is a small creek and that is that is probably over my head. Alright, I'm gonna pull my truck up here. There's some fresh chew ones right there. I'm gonna pull my truck up here. And I'll probably put a caster mount in one way or the other to this. See what else it looks like when we get down there. It's not even dyed. Not sure why I grabbed this one. They've been chewing all the way up here by the road. What I really like here, we got a couple spots that there's gonna be crossovers. Up there, here, seeing the signs here. There's beaver chewings here. It's really actually pretty nice. So I'm gonna get in the water here. Let's see how the sled does holding this stuff up. It's probably, probably 60 pounds worth of stuff in there. I would think it would hold it. Well, if I bury it, that's different. <laughs> Oh shoot. Oh kids, I tell you. Lead distribute the weight. Perfect. Probably sink it again. It's pretty shallow up past this. And my guess is where I was trapping was up there. I just pulled those traps for the deer season, or the second half of the deer season. I'm guessing there's a family up there. I'm guessing there's a family down here for how deep it gets down here. I'm certain that there's some bank dens down this way. So we'll probably just set maybe one, maybe two traps, but make it easy for us to check. So we're not, so especially since I get out of work and it's basically dark, so. There's a slide. You can see a belly slide coming off right there. I might put that 330 there. Uh, let's see, it's really deep right here. I'm gonna stay up on this bank here. Ooh, it's just deep in general. And that deer stinks. Whew. Whew. Stinks. Appears, I believe, just to be a doe. Oh, that's nasty. I really don't want you around here. Another slide right there. Yeah, poor thing. Okay. Really don't have much for options for sets here. I got that slide. I got a little bit of a slide here. Nothing crazy. Could be otter. I know there's otter in the area, but there's just not many of them. So I'm going to put that 330 there. I'm going to put a caster mount set right there. Don't need much of that stuff for them to smell it. That's for certain. Hmm. Alright, well that's uh go away, dear. You stink. Whew. Set that 330 and we'll get off to the next spot. That's some fresh mud and a bunch of chewings of sticks. It looked it looked like there from the other side of the bridge, it looked like there was a little feeding pile feet back there, so might be where all this came from. Typically you usually see your traps set like this. Springs out to the side, right? Well, we're gonna do it a little different because I wanna keep it as wide as possible. I'm gonna go like this sideways. I gotta get it half, halfway in the water now. New Michigan law for this year. It needs to be halfway placed in water, just like that. That way now, that gives them more room what am I gotta do here though is get these safeties off. Okay, so now with that safety off, what that does is that gives them more room to get up through this already natural traveling route. That wire is right at the level of water. So it just makes it look like it's way more open. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take one of these 30 inch stakes. I'm gonna get her through the main springs just so that when this thing's set off, it won't go, and that keeps it a little more compressed, and it keeps it sturdy. There ain't much I really gotta do to this thing, now that it's set there like this. Look how sturdy that is. 
just one stake off to the side there. But I will take one more just in case something weird happens. I'll stake it up here. And now I gotta blend this in a little bit because that is fresh steel. I did not realize that when I got it or when I threw it in the bag last night. I don't know what I was thinking. Just kind of take some of this. Run this over top. Blend that in real well. I'm gonna clear some of these sticks out of there, make it look used. And yeah, that's pretty much done. This branch right here coming off is funneling them right through here. This junk over here is gonna funnel them right up through there. It's in position. I might do this just in case there's any scent on it. Make that wet up through there. Could hit first day, could be a few days. Problem is it's supposed to get down to 22 degrees tonight and this is pretty slack water, so that might freeze up tonight. But cool. All right, 330 set and the caster mound set was really nice as I'm standing on this bridge. That's where the 330 is. So somebody could spot this if they're out really looking. So it does make me a little nervous since I had traps stolen next year or last year, rather. Um, but yeah, I can see my trap right there, and I can peek right over, and I can see that trap right there. So this will be a nice, quick, easy check. Hopefully nobody takes my stuff. A few moments later. All right, it's only been not even 24 hours since we set these traps down here by the road, and we got one. So it's actually, to tell you the truth, this is my first beaver in a 330. So, pretty stoked about that. Let's go get it. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the last couple. That's a good freaking catch, is what that is right there. It's actually, I don't mean to brag, <laughs> this is my first beaver in a 330. That's a pretty good sized beaver there, too. Oh, a perfect head catch. Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. That's an adult right there was coming up and through. So I'm gonna reset this. Probably get another one. Let's see how strong my hands are because my setter's up top. <laughs> no. There we go. Get on there. There we go. Alright. I guess I can do this. There. Hoo. Hoo Let's see the size of this bugger. Yeah, it's probably a 30 pounder. Oh, that's bigger than that. 40. Good deal. You can see. See that trigger just underneath the water. So it's front foot probably caught that and caught it right by the head. Laying right there. Pretty nice, eh? Pretty nice. And this brush off here to the left is what kind of fences it to come right in here, which is perfect. It's a natural. It's a natural slide I found, and then a natural appearing hole right to get up to it. So pretty sick, right? Pretty sick. Cool. There we go. That's the first adult so far of the year. Actually, no. Second adult of the year, first adult off this structure river. That's a good, probably 30 pounder. So, we'll go check our, our ditch set for muskrats, and that'll probably be it for the day. Man, she is cold. Check this again tomorrow. Hopefully, I have another one. Boy. Well, I could see from up on top of the bridge here that. I had something in it. It just doesn't look very big. My guess is muskrat. And I left my freaking setters up there again. That's all right. Let's see what's in this trap. Nope, it's another beaver. See, a little beaver. I don't know what's going on with this caster mount set over here though. Why they just aren't coming down this one or something. It's not really an edge for them to swim by though, so it's not too surprising. Another one coming right up into here, too. Man, 
That's number five. Oh, that was a little deeper in on them. Not too surprising. Being smaller. Get on there. Whew. Ah, there we go. That's a young one. That's the smallest one I've gotten so far. Number five. Cool. There we go. Natural funneling right up through here. I don't know what it is that's got them coming up here, but I ain't complaining. 